God, I had my tens machine on. Hello, 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 everybody. Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Say hello when you come in. Hello, hello. We have a special surprise. Well, not surprise. You guys have seen it already. Um, but we have. I'm going to wait for some eyeballs to come up. We have beautiful Sharon from Sharon's Door Decor. And she is the uh, originator of the tulip bouquet that everybody is going cuckoo for coconuts for. And um, she's going to show us another way out of the box creation. So come on in, say hey. Let us know where you're watching from. Hi, Virginia. So I'm going to bring, we're bringing Sharon on right now. Okay. And I am going to be in the background. So if you have any questions, um, do type your questions. I'm going to be in the background reading the questions if you have any. Um, but we're going to put, hello, hello, everybody. We're going to put Sharon on the big screen here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jackie Blewett. And um, so we're going to get started and I'm going to let Sharon introduce herself, tell us a little bit about her business. And she's going to make a fabulous, huge strawberry. Right? Okay. Okay. Sharon, thank it's you. all yours. Okay. Thank you, Lori, so much. Um, hi, I'm Sharon from Sharon's Order Door Decor. I am uh, very excited to be doing my first live wreath tutorial. Um, I'm a little nervous, so be easy on me. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me. I've been wreathing for about five years now, and I'm a small business owner for about three. Um, I do really enjoy thinking out of the box, and um, it's been so nice to see you all making the tulip wreath. Last year, I also did the double clematis video and uh, the fall festival of flowers where everyone's now putting multiples on the board, which is awesome. So when you guys make something, I'd love you to put um, hashtag make it like Sharon. That would be so great. Um, okay, so I wanna get started with the strawberry wreath and I wanted to show you uh, my inspiration for the strawberry wreath was this ribbon. And I was trying to think how can I make a strawberry on the Unique in the Creek board? I first started by making these little strawberries and I think I might add them to um, the bow later on. But the petal that I thought would be the easiest was the Dean Michael petal. And the triangle board is perfect shape for a strawberry. We're gonna use it upside down. And um, so I guess Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is I have my red and my green poly burlap that I've already heat sealed. I've pre-made most of my petals, but I'm gonna show you how to make the petal now. So I'll move the board over here for a second. And we're gonna start with the red. Okay, now we're gonna go curl side up and we're going to turn it into a diamond shape and the hard edge is to the left. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna bring it down to the bottom. Press, on, press it down and turn it. You're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna curl it under and then you're gonna scrunch while holding it down and go all the way to the top. Okay, and then we're gonna curl that, to that tail underneath and I'm gonna secure it with a rubber band. You don't have to if you're doing it right away and putting it into your board, but I pre-did it, so um, that's why I'm using the rubber bands, which are perfect to keep your petal in shape. Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time. Curl side up. We're gonna turn it into a diamond shape with the seam to your left. We're gonna start from the top, we're gonna bring it down to the bottom, press it down, give it a little turn, tuck the tail underneath, and you're gonna scrunch all the way to the top. Karen, did you wood burn these 
I did. Yes. Okay. It helps with the fraying. All right. Do you know how many red and how many green that yes. you uh, for this for the strawberry? I used twenty-seven red and eight green. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Chris, it is a perfect petal. She does amazing petals. <laughs> if you want to see it again, let me know. But I, like I said, I pre-made all of my petals so we can uh, make this go a little quicker. Okay, so now you've got your board. I did mark out on the board where I'm going to be putting the petals, but there really isn't a... Um, particular plan that I follow, like a, a lot of the other wreaths. So, you know, even though I'm starting on row number three, if you want to make your strawberry longer, you could start on number one or on number two, but I'm starting on number three. So that's where in the middle of row number three is where I'm going to be placing the first petal. Because like our strawberry, you're going to want to come like, you know, to a point on the end, a little bit rounded, but a point on the end. So that's why I didn't start directly down here. I'm starting at number three, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So we're going to be taking our zip ties. We're going to go in from the top to the bottom with the square facing to the right. We'll come back up. And that pedal was called the Dean Michael pedal, if I didn't say that already. Okay, then we're going to be placing our petal in and zip tying it up. And we're gonna clip as we go along because we're gonna go on top of each other. So have your little garbage pail ready. Okay, my next petal, we're gonna do row number four in the middle. So let's take our petals and we'll just go right on top of that. No particular pattern. That's what I wanted to say before, but that's okay. Zip tie that in. Okay, now we're at row number five. And we're gonna start on the left side and we're gonna do that first hole. Um, I also, I put your glue gun on and I didn't show you the other materials. I am using, um, these are bowl and vase filler. They're little styrofoam balls. This we're going to be putting on the petals later to make it look like a strawberry. So put your glue gun on. Okay, so we'll zip tie this one in. I like to stand when I uh, make my wreaths, but I hope I don't, you know, if I move anything that you can't see, just let me know. And, you know, form your petals out as you go along too. Okay. So then we're still on row five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the petal, let's see, right next to it. I like when they're even. I just want them to form right. Okay. There we go. 
All right, we'll get our next petal. Now, this one I did not this, we're on row number five. I'm not using the first set. I'm using one hole of the first set and one hole of the next set right next to it. Everybody's saying you're doing awesome, Sharon. Okay, great. I yeah. hope so. I hope so. Okay. So now we're starting to get the shape of the bottom of the strawberry. And now we're on row six. So we're going to do not the first set. We're in the middle of like the second and third set. If you can see that on the board. Okay. And we're layering on top of each other. Okay, now we're still on row six. And if you could see, we're not doing the first set. It's in between again. And honestly, if you wanted to do more petals on top of each other, you can, but this is just the way I did it to give the nice layered look. Now we're on row seven and we're going to start on the left side and it's the first set. And instead of face, face it out a little bit because now we're kind of getting the rounded part of the strawberry. Then we're going to go in between the second and third set from the left. If you can see that where I marked it, go down, come back up. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Okay. Oh, everybody's loving your teaching method, Sharon. You're Good. doing perfect. Yep. Okay. You are a rock star. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Now we've got right by the number seven, do the next set of it's in between again. No, we didn't do it. No, it's one, two, three from the right. Put it in there. Put your next petal there. Now, if you had two different color reds left, that would really be okay. That I don't know if you can see that on the strawberry wreath that I made, but I had two different color reds, and I kind of thought like it was like, the shadow, if you look at a strawberry, there's darker parts of the strawberry on the top and then there's lighter parts on the bottom. So if you had two different colors, you know, you still could use them. It's kind of just, again, how you, how it looks nice to you. 
Um, okay, and now I'm going to, I know I have a little mark there, but I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to do it right here. It's the last um, set. And I'm going to put it in there. I don't think we need that other one. All right, now we're going to face that out a little bit. And we're going to tighten it. Okay, so now we're on row eight. And we're going to start on the left. We're not going to do this set. We're going to go in between. Then we're on, let's see, it's the third set next to number eight. I hope Lori's singing for you as I do this. <laughs> it's a little quiet. Did you say you want me to sing for you? Sure, because yeah. it's because I really do sound like Whitney Houston. No, you don't. Yeah, I sound like no. Whitney Houston. It sounds so quiet. And I uh, there we go. <laughs> will always love you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we're on row eight and we're going to do not the all the way to the right, not these first set right here we're gonna do. Okay, find that hole. Yeah, there we go. And you really could put something in between there if you wanted to. It just, I didn't find it necessary, so. Okay, we are on row nine. We're just doing two. One in the middle, and one right next to it. Okay, the one right here to the right. So it's getting rounded right now. All right, we are on row 10. Start on the left, not the first set, it's in between. Okay, I am going to take this one off because it's got like, I don't know, a little, I guess a, maybe when I heat sealed it, I didn't, I don't like that pedal. Take that pedal.
That's better. Okay, so we're still on row 10 and we're on one, two, three in from the left. Okay, right next to the number 10, we're going to do that set there to the right of it. top of each other. Okay, one more and it's a second in from the right. Sharon, did you get your styrofoam balls at Hobby Lobby? I did. You did. Okay. During Christmas time. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So I got them during Christmas and I happened to come across them. I was like, oh my God, these would be perfect for what the strawberry, you know, for the strawberry. But uh -huh. um, you could use little pom-poms or I was even thinking of the paint pen. So yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. or even cut out little white seeds uh, with felt or something too. Oh yeah, that'd be good too. But I'm pretty sure they have that table scatter all year long. Oh, but yeah, it's it's um vase filler. So yeah, vase filler. Yes. Yeah. Awesome! It looks looking fabulous. Okay. We are on row eleven, the last set of red. So okay, so we're on eleven. It's to um the let the on the left. We're going to be putting it in that first set. Is it tying it in? And it, can, it doesn't have to be straight down. I'd stick it out a little bit because we're making that rounded look. Okay, so we're going one, two, three in. Yes, and all these materials you can get at Unique in the Creek, Unique in the Creek board, the red mesh, the green mesh. I don't know, do you have strawberry ribbon? Okay, so in the middle at 11, not yet. We have lots of strawberry ribbon. Oh, nice. Yes, one and a half, two and a half. Beautiful. What's your issues? I am right now. Okay. okay, so right next to the 11, you're going to the left of it. That set. Let's tie that in. Okay, we got, I think, three more. All right, next to the 11, we've got the set right next to it. All right, so we've got one, two, in between two and three, you're gonna put it there. Okay, 
Okay, we got one more red. And we're going to do that, not this last set, it's right in between here. All right, the green is going to get a little tricky, but we'll just follow along. So the leaves kind of stick out. So I'm going to do some are going to go this direction. Some are going to go it, just follow along. All right, and I am, we need eight of the green petals, still the Dean Michael petal. And I am going to, let's see, I want to use the same holes as this red one. We're going to put our green one, we're going to go right over it. We're going in the same hole. In between here, I don't know if you could see, we're just going to go in between these, this red, these two red ones, we're gonna go in between here because we want the petal to go that way. So that's why we're going to go there. So that was row 11, and we're going in between those two red. Maybe. No, I don't want to do that one. Sorry. Sorry to screw that one up. I think we have to go, oh, this is the one we're going this way. We are going to go from that same hole and we're gonna to go to the top. Because we do want to face it that way, that's better. You know, screw ups are really, really, beneficial <laughs> when you're doing a live no for real uh, okay because just people how to correct things as well so it's you know it's, i screw up all the time and you know like i do it on purpose <laughs> i did it on purpose see it's not a pattern that's the thing it's see? like it's kind of it's just wherever you want yes yeah. so you're doing fabulous it's looking so good thank you thank you thank you all right now our next one is going to go facing up. We want, let's see where we're going to put it. We want it to look hmm, like this. I don't know. Maybe I didn't put it in the right one again. Let's see. No, let's see. We're going to go here. We're going to go there. I just want to see it for a second. That's good. That'll work. Okay. We're going to go in between these two reds. And we're going to go up with it. So that'll cover over that. Okay. Yeah, 
how it's going to go that way. Okay, so you see number 12, you're going to go in between it. There we go, that's right. But we're going to be putting a bow over it so you won't see that at the end. probably need better clippers it's already like broken <laughs> if anyone hasn't noticed that already okay getting there okay we're gonna start on this side now And we're going to go on row 11 and we're going to go in between. Okay, now this one is going to go, let's see, what looks best? You're gonna go in that same hole and then to the top. I'm sorry if there isn't a pattern. <laughs> okay, it's two more. All right, now this one is going to go up. So, we're going to go in between these red, reds in here, in that same hole, and come up. Okay, now your last green is going to go right here. Right. We're going to go in right in the same hole and then up. Okay, so we've got our strawberry. We've got our leaves on the top. And now we're going to make our bow to cover up this part so you don't see the board. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to get my 
easy bow maker because I really do like it. It's definitely like, like an extra set of hands. Um, let's see. The length that I wanted it will be, I mean, you can make it as long as you like. I'm going to make it 15 inches will be the tail. It's going to be my tail. Okay. So we're going to do four inch loops. You can make your bow as big as you like. I'm going to do three, four inch loops. Three on each side. Cut that. Do a little dovetails at the bottom. Get my pipe cleaner. All right, I'm going to bring the strawberry back. Let's secure this first. That way it's not going anywhere. Lots of people are wowed that this is your first live. They can't believe how well you did. <laughs> Great. Seriously. Yeah. So Yay. good job, my friend. Yay. Good job. Okay. So then we are going to let's move the easy bow maker to the side. And we're gonna put it in the holes. Okay, I'm going to trim that up later. Like I said, you can make the bow bigger if you want. You can add other colors to it. Now I'm going to add um, the deco mesh tubing around it. I also thought raffia might be nice. You could as, add as many things as you want, I guess. <laughs> um, or maybe we'll add the little strawberry piece on. I don't know how that would look, but you can see. I don't know. What do we think? The only thing is that this kind of I don't know how to hide that, <laughs> but I like them. They're cute. I'm not gonna add that on. Maybe I'll cut this. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, there's your bow. And now we're going to add 
Get your glue gun out. And we're going to put the pom-poms on for the little styrofoam balls, whatever you have. Take a drink. Okay. I like to put, um, you can put as little or as many as you want, but at least one on each petal. And they're all different sizes. I like to use the little tiny ones. They look like the seeds. Okay. Dave just mentioned a really good idea. You could use fun foam and get a little punch. You know, you can even get those little oh, yeah. and just punch out a whole bunch of seeds um with the fun foam that would be good yeah you can get these little punch things at the dollar store too you know yes yes lots of options yep So is there any other questions while we do these little styrofoam balls? Then we're pretty much done. Oop. So if you guys would like to follow me on my Facebook page and Instagram, everything is Sharon's Door Decor. I'm getting glue everywhere now. All these little... All right, just about done. And then you can add a little white daisy to the middle. Okay, there you have it. I think I have them all. All right. There is our finished. I'm stuck to the board. There we go. I'm going to try and change. I'm going to move the phone to see if I can get, show you. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so cute, Sharon. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if we can move oh, it up. Oh my gosh, adorable. Oh, you're sideways. Hi, oh, my backwards? <laughs> you're side. There we go. There we go. That's Hi, good. how are you? Okay. Hi, Sharon. <gasps> oh, I love it. Oh, Sharon, it's so cute. Good. I'm really glad. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's see the back. Somebody asked to see the back. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to put our um, zip tie to hang it back here. I'm going to clip yes. that off. 
That is so cute. Oh, let's see. So there cute. we go. Can you see the whole thing? Okay. Yep. And we'll put our zip tie to hang it. That's it. That is adorable. Yay. Well, thank you again for having me. Oh, hold on. Thank you so much for coming on and teaching us as usual. It was fabulous. You are a natural, my friend. I knew you would do. Thank I you. Knew you. Thank you. Have no problem. Yay. Um, everything was, everybody just absolutely loved it. Good. Loved First it. live so, done. Yay. yay. Now you're on your own. Um, I, we, Tina and I were putting your Facebook page throughout the thing. Yeah, I know I'm on here. Um, I'm not on anymore live, right? I'm just talking to you. Yeah, you're on live. You're on I live. Am. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if and I and I also said if anybody makes one to uh, tag you and hashtag, make it like Sharon so you will be able to see them. Good. Yay. And yep, yeah, there's lots and lots of great comments. You're a natural. Uh, hope to see more. Hope to see you again. Now we will get to see you more often. Yep. So there you go. You're a natural, Great. my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, thank you so much for doing it. And um, I can't wait to see what you come up with next. Well, I kind of know what you're coming up with next. But yes, if you need me, I'm here. I will help you with your live again. Great. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thanks, Bye, Sharon. Everybody. Now we're going to end the stream. Bye, everybody. Okay, Have